Candy Parrot here, welcome to another video, and in today's video we're playing Bannerlord as Volandia again, it's like our 13th video in a, in a series that hopefully has more parts, so the full playlist will be somewhere up here. Anyways, the troops we currently have are some sergeants, uh, some sharpshooters, and some bannermans, and then like a bunch of other low, low tier troop dude things that we don't really care about. Uh, so let me try to remember what we're going to do today, and then we'll do that. Oh yeah, so I think what we were going to do is call an army. So how this works is we're going to... Oh wow, these are some expensive tasks. Is there like some cheaper armies? Okay, that's pretty good. These are some good prices. Right, so we're going to spend 90 out of 157 of our influence to get all these people to join us. And then we should have a total of 700 troops. Maybe they're... Okay, we already called like all the cheap ones. I guess we'll call... Actually, he's, he's got 69 troops, so I'm pretty sure we're obligated to accept him, too. So we know that we can take uh, Rezo's Castle, because we actually previously owned Rezo's Castle, but I'm thinking we might want to go for the, the city. The cities are a lot better than castles. Oh, we're at war. These people down here. In the so we could go down here and like take out that castle base, but what I think is we're going to continue our expansion over there. Okay, so they're going to declare peace with the Northern Empire, but that's okay, because the Western Empire declared war like two minutes ago, so they're down here that we're going to head down there now. Uh, hopefully we should meet up with some of the lords on the way. We already have two, okay, we got 360, 400. It's only got 175 defenders who are all going to be low tier, so we can take them out. Meanwhile, leadership is going up like crazy. <laughs> Alright, hopefully no one like shows up and like completely wait a minute. Hold up, we got it. Do we have any Scouting okay, you're a good scout. Do we have any engineers? Oh, wait, that's so good. Okay, these guys all suck as engineers, so we're just gonna be the the, the owner of everything. And Oh, we can just add cohesion like that. Okay, so that's gonna be how long we can keep this army up for before they start, like, breaking apart. Uh, so let's hope we get a lot of influence to keep this army up for a while, so we can get a few attacks. Alright, now we're gonna do an assault, which we're gonna use the candy strategy, which charge all of them so that they get to the ladders faster. And if they get to the ladders faster, they breach the walls faster, and they take out the enemy faster meaning there's less time spent where they have the advantage. The only thing is not getting shot while you advance up to the ladders. Uh, which, well, originally uh, a lot of people might think that a shield wall or a square formation or one of those would be better for it. Uh, the best one uh, I've found is that the it's the uh, this charge, because they... Okay, well, this is, this is not good. Uh, I mean... They're just jumping off themselves, so I'll gladly take the free coins, but these guys do know they're like throwing the Oh they <laughs> They wanna try to drop the ladders and then they just like, eh, may maybe we don't need to drop the ladders. Alright, they've got their infantry here now, so we're gonna have to like push I think we like push with our shield to this side. And then using our mace, we tear through the high armor. Alright, looks like we've already breached the walls. We just gotta get a good grip on it. Our mace is really shredding here because there's so many high armor opponents, and it's also one handed. Uh, but now we're gonna switch to our two handed sword so we can shred these guys. Uh, we got pushed off into the castle gate, but we can't really open this, so we're just going to have to go through the ladder again. Okay, so it looks like uh, most of our troops are getting in. Uh, the more troops we get in, the lower our uh, casualty rate should be, but we're just going to hit all of them, and then one... Uh, we'll have our archers sit outside. 
Uh, so that should make it so that we take less casualties with all our archers, and then our infantry should be able to do most of the fighting. Uh, then our our archers should take l less casualties, because archers were not designed to fight in any way. Alright, we got like 80 dudes here. Try to envelop them. Uh, looks like they're retreating now. Okay, I am I am freezing up a little bit because you know it's it's a giant siege, but that's fine. Uh, they're almost all dead. We took about. 19 deaths compared to their 100 so we are definitely winning and of our party we only took two deaths because all our dudes are like super strong right, let's get some banner knight uh, swordsman and sergeant so we've already made up like the losses so we've already made up the losses we took and uh, now we'll take all these prisoners because they're probably worth something we will get a ton of loot one hand. Oh, this is two hand. Okay, we'll swap that out then. And none of the things I'm seeing here are like really super high quality, so we're just gonna. Uh, we'll show mercy because that's gonna have a better impact for our kingdom. Cause then, then we're gonna have more strength economically. Rote has. Oh, 700 defenders. Okay, we've we won Grosego's castle, which is the castle we just took. We try to take this castle here that has 700 defenders because our troops are going to be higher quality, so we we are going to take an increased amount of casualties. But if we can, oh, they they've got a hundred for uh, 800, so we're gonna head down to see if we can hit an easier town. Oh, and we're at War with Ragged Bad now. Oh no, don't tell me... No! Okay, well, they're, they're just gonna make us pay, like, a, a lot of money, but that's fine, because we have a lot. Uh, now we just have to say, oh, these guys are way easier. Right, we're gonna besiege this town instead, because it's a lot easier. Uh, and then we'll launch an assault and try to rush the ladders, like we did last time. Alright, let's leave the assault now. Again, we're going to use the same strategy, try to be the first ones off the ladders, and then we'll pull the archer back uh, when we get into real combat. Alright, I turned the frames down by like 10, so hopefully it runs a lot smoother. Uh, yeah, we're going to charge into Q. So, no, we're the first ones up. Yo, we get to take here and then hold here against the actual troops that are going to try to charge up. Okay, there's one guy down. Let's try to take out these guys from behind and then that'll lure them away. Oh, that guy's actually gonna fight. Come in frames. Okay, hold up, we gotta... Okay, we lowered the battle size a little bit. Hopefully that changes it. Oh, we got knocked out. Okay, well, let's see who wins. Okay, so we finally won. Uh, they took about a lot more losses than we did. So we're just gonna have to auto-simulate the rest, but good thing we only lost like six dudes. Our party is a lot less powerful than it was. Uh, noticeable in like the high tier units that we measured earlier. 
and the fact that all of our dudes are like, all of our companions are like zero health, but we did take an entire town, which the odds we win the town, like the elections, are pretty good. Right, we're gonna show mercy, it's gonna cost a lot of influence, but I think it'll be worth it. Uh, okay, that's some more money we made. Tavern district, choose prisoners, sell all of them. So we still have that one guy that's like, can't. Okay, we have these guys. So we'll move to the keep donate troops to garrison. Alright, we gained another influence. Uh, we can finally leave here. Oh, wait, one more thing. Tavern district. Okay, we should probably like start finding people who can govern empire towns efficiently. All right, we win the we win the new city we just got. So yay, we have a lot of land. Uh, all right, so we got Versego's castle, Yelmuri's, and uh, do we own what? What do we own? Uh, what 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 do we own? Thieves. Oh, Mazdan. Okay. They offer you if you free Amon. I didn't know we had in had him in captivity, uh, so we'll accept that. Two Ks. Uh, we're almost at like we're almost earned like 100 K this episode alone. Uh, well, not almost, but we're pretty close to that. We can't really take that. Cause we only have like 300 troops left. Uh, on the plus side, we now make like. 2k every turn. So I guess we'll go for like some easier cat ab corner cat. Okay, we'll try to take can we take like so this castle here and this castle here and that castle here that we're all at war with. But we'll see which of these Oh no, they're taking Jalman no, Jalman is like my favorite town. How much defenders to this Okay, they still have five hundred defenders. Okay, they're besieging like all the stuff I just took. Okay, and the castle already down. The, the town's gone again. Ay ay ay. We're just gonna roll up and attack him. Alright, so I didn't like really study what troops they had, but we're gonna. So we're gonna move up our cavalry and charge everything else, because our cavalry should be. Our cavalry should be our advantageous uh, thing here, because they're faster. That's one guy down. Right, we're just going to charge our cavalry now. Charge the archers, and then we'll see if we can get our. Wait, that's our. Oh, this is our infantry. Okay, I've been ordering these troops in the wrong order, but that's fine. Right, let's try to get down and get some melee kills on these archers, because it looks like they're they're pretty busy with the cavalry charge. Okay, we 
We won the thing again. We defended our own castle. We now have a bunch of more dudes. Uh, we got some more stuff. Oh wait, we got... Looks like there's some actually good, like, loyal gear. Better... I, that's probably like what I had to begin with, to be honest. I wouldn't put it past me. Then the next thing goes to this guy. The next, oh, that's... Okay, so, so that that's awkward. Uh, they had better things the whole time. Arrow deflection. I think this is like completely useless because it's super hard to deflect arrows, but... I mean, we have that skill now. Let's see if we can head near a Yelmaze. I kind of want to keep this, keep this campaign going. So we're gonna. Uh, is there any? Okay, there, there, there aren't really many cheap items. Plus, it costs like ten to increase the cohesion. So that why does it say total cost is? It, oh, it's only four to increase by ten. But then we can like call in which one of these 30 has. Okay, this guy has the most. We'll call in another guy. Okay, they only, they only have 700 defenders now, but we're too weak to fight that currently. So we're gonna see if they've like reinforced the garrison down here a bunch, or if it's still really weak. Alright, I, I, I like that one better, but that's only a captain. So. Uh, we'll get that, because party size is too important for us. Okay, so Darius has like 2,000 dudes. I'm not too interested in fighting them all today. So I think we'll just fight them as few at a time as we can. So we're going to tell our, our horse archers to uh, do whatever you want to do. Infantry can... It's, I don't know why, but it's like stuck doing the really, really large spacing blueprint thing where it says that they're going to be in a much larger formation than they will be. So our archers will just shoot down at their infantry. And then our infantry will charge. So will our cavalry. Actually, at this point, let's just everybody charge and hold fire. Oh, we got immediately knocked out. Okay, that was great. Okay, I don't I don't like how this battle is going, so we're going to do an auto-resolve. Because uh, auto-resolve will give us much better results. And the one time it's actually like positive to do auto-resolve. Uh, we get some more loot that's probably worth a lot more. Oh, this is better. Those are slightly better than mine. These are slightly better than his. And these are... where are they? And these are slightly better than theirs. Ah, oh, we can barter. How much is it going to cost them? 130, no! We're not giving you guys 136k? Though we're definitely not fighting this, so... We don't have enough men, what do you mean we... Okay, this is gonna be really bad. I don't know what to do here. This is really bad. So we got some athletics. Some one handed. Right, I think we might auto resolve this one. Uh, oh, we're still alive. Okay, do we do like an epic 1v250? I think we do an epic 1v250. Uh, just to see. Okay, most of it's cat. I don't like the mounted arc. Those are gonna be annoying because they're gonna like move around and then run away. 
yeah, there's an easy encounter with like square formations, but one person is not. You need like 16 for a square formation. Okay, that was an epic slide, not gonna lie. So, the dudes that we were at war with, their captains, have decided to declare war on us. I mean, it's not like they can really do much, but they declared war. On the plus side, we're making like 900 now, because we have no troops to pay for. Now we just gotta wait. Okay, so for the low, low price of 25k, they will let me free. <laughs> they were not paying to be free. Oh, and they're besieging my castle again. Brr. For the low, low price of 20k, they're willing to let me go free. I, I'm still not paying a bunch of money to let you guys free. Okay, so we get some money from the Western Empire this time. I kind of want to see how is all the tributes that we picked for paying paid out work. So here we pay 360. Here uh, they pay 200. So they pay 700. And then we pay. Okay, so we're not not doing great at all. We're losing like 20 bucks a day. That doesn't really stand out as much to me. <laughs> so we're gonna head over here. Oh, so while we were uh, heading back to our, our hometown to build up our once forgotten arms, these four looters decided, or these, these are mountain bandits, decided, no, 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 no. Those, those armies couldn't do what we four mountain bandits can do. And they're about to get a, a very shocking surprise. First, we start with the artillery bombard. Okay, so some of them are surviving. Okay, none of them are surviving. Oh man, we have so much stuff that we're carrying. Okay, let's try to trade it off here so we can move a little faster. Eleven K. I'll do that. Let's keep on heading towards our tent. Oh, seven mountain bands have decided they can do what I can do. I can guarantee you this is not going to go as they expected it to. Okay, we missed most of our javelins, but they're still performing. Better than expected. Now we're just gonna get on foot and finish up the rest of these guys. Kind of suck. Okay, they decide four damage is what they're gonna do, and as to be expected. Okay, during that like epic fight, my mic. My mic, hello, uh, candy power here, uh, my mic, like, uh, so my parents don't let me have, like, you know, my computer, uh, in my room, so I have to constantly move it around, and as a result of this, I have to put the mic on my computer, which most of the time it's fine if I feel like being extremely annoyed, uh, but today that did not work, because my, my, my mouse is right next to the microphone. So like anytime I do serious gaming it falls off. As has been demonstrated today. <laughs> okay, these guys just don't want to die today, do they? White cringe weirdos. But they're still gonna die, of course. Okay, we just got 15 looters down, and they still are gonna, like, try to attack us because they think we're weak. 
the never-ending chart. Hi there, would you like to die? You look like the average, uh, the average consumer of our new product, Death. It's pretty epic. These guys are worse at video games than my grandma. Like, come on. That's nine more. We're, we're just like accumulating stacks of the looter gear that we're gonna have. Just from all of the looters that thought they could ambush us and couldn't. Oh, there's a one of our companions we lost. It's you. Tavern District. Take Hero to party. Okay, it's now in our party again. I think we have to. He was gonna be our quartermaster, right? Alright, let's trade it off all the gear we had. Alright, well, looks like there's one more turn. Oh, this is for a really expensive horse. How convenient. And it's Polar. Okay, there goes our team. That was that was a good try. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you want to see more videos, make sure to like and subscribe. I have I have rumbled. Yeah, you can watch that too. But yeah, I make videos there. I, I will see you guys later.